uncomfortable in these jeans right now because um, I recently got a bikini wax. Sorry, sir. I <laughs> go there. Um, I was with this guy and we were having problems. You know, he couldn't find my spot, you know. <laughs> So my friend was like, well, why don't you get a bikini wax? You know, clear the landing so he can see. <laughs> so I go in and it's a Korean lady in the shop and she's in the back and she's got hot lava boiling in a cauldron. <laughs> I go in there, she puts me in these stirrups and the thing, the, the, this is the thing, okay? I've never done anything down here. It's a jungle, okay? <laughs> I open my legs up, pelicans flew out. <laughs> the Dirty Jobs being taped down there. It's, it's gonna air next week, it's called When Vaginas Attack. I'm the third vagina, okay? So I'm in the thing and she's like, she sees all this hair and she goes crazy. She's like, oh my God, ha, oh, put that on, King Kong, oh, oh. Three little teeny Korean chicks come from the front and they like, oh my God, they put soldering mask on and they start getting all crazy and chatting around my vagina. So the, the little chick, she, she takes like this popsicle stick and she puts it in the lava and she starts stirring it around. And she brings it up and there's so much steam on this stick, it filled the room. I thought it was in a Prince video. I said, what the hell is going on? Is this purple rain? What is up? She takes this stick and she puts it on my vagina and it starts to sizzle. It smells like bacon bits and hair, sir. I didn't know what was going on. I thought Al Sharpton was in there getting the perm. I was like, what in the world is this? So she's down here and it's starting to sizzle and then she gets this like gosh and she puts the gosh down on my vagina and she starts doing like this. And I'm like, ooh, okay, I like that. a little to the left and you will get extra tip and everything. <laughs> so now she's done fiddly fouling down there and she's about to remove this strip off my vagina and she gets into like this football power stance. Whoa. <laughs> she gets on this strip and she takes the strip and I swear that was like the longest nanosecond of my life. I literally heard the hands down there go, oh crap, we leaving. She yanks that strip. I go get the fire extinguisher. I'm spraying myself. For the first time in my life, I understood what that man meant when he said it was like biting into a York peppermint patty. Like my vagina was like a Katy Perry video. It was hot, and it was cold, it was yes, and it was no. <laughs> so I get off this bench, I walk out. I don't even put my pants on, I walk out. <laughs> and I'm standing at the bus stop just fanning my vagina. <laughs> Let me tell you ladies something. If a man cannot find your spot, do not do this. <laughs> Put it on MapQuest or tell them to Google it. I don't know what to tell you. Cause the thing is, the hair grows back, right? And there's no good way to scratch your vagina at three o'clock in the morning at the bus stop. It just, right? You don't want no chips for me right now, do you, sir? You don't want a high five? How you doing, son? You good? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, up, up, in, up here, up here, up here.
said, give me some toilet paper. I need some toilet paper. Give me some toilet paper right now. I wasn't prepared to give him any toilet paper because I didn't know I had to wipe my ass at the bus stop. I said, if you don't give me some toilet paper right now, I'm going to piss right here. I'm going to piss right here. I said, how the hell are you going to threaten me with pissing and you smell like piss already? As soon as I'm single, I gave him my phone number, so I hope he calls me. <laughs> you guys have been great. God bless you all.